Hi everyone and welcome to today's Dance Makers class. Make sure you've got enough space to move around, um, make sure the cat's out, make sure you're not going to trip over a rug um, and have a glass of water close by. Right, we're going to start with um, a couple of gentle exercises. Um, later on we're going to do a, a, a little sort of jazzy number and it'll be good if you had a hat. Now it doesn't have to be a hat like mine, any hat will do, or if you've got a newspaper or a magazine handy, you could use that, because it never actually sits on your head, it's just used as a prop. So we're going to use the hats later. Okay, so to start off, we're just going to wake up our body, and the idea is you're going to take a deep breath, you're going to reach up, and then you're going to reach as far forward as you can, and then come down as far as you can. And like raindrops, you're going to tap the sides of your legs and your sides all the way up until your hands meet and you have a nice stretch. Then the raindrops come down and they go down the middle. Then they come up past your shins, over your knees, and then you open up to second position. Okay? Then using your, if I mirror you, so you're, you're going to use your left hand, it sweeps over, the raindrops go over your arms, over your front, until you're back in second, sweep this arm over and all the way across. Then you're going to put your hands behind your neck and again you're going to keep this uh, like raindrops pitter-patter thing going. So you go up to your head, back to your neck, and then, this is really good to stretch your shoulders out, you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if I show you what my hands are doing, so when they go behind, they're like that, okay? So that is what you're doing, and you're keeping your shoulders back. Alright, so it's just a nice, gentle way of waking us up. Let's give that a go. We're going to do it twice. Right. Deep breath in. Over we go. Raindrops come up. to warm up our backs. We're going to start off with two ripples. So a ripple means that you stick your chin forward 
and you'll bottom out, okay? And imagine you've got, um, maybe you've got some paint on your chin and you're gonna paint a line until you get as far as you can and then for some unknown reason, you put your head in the paint pot, like so. Then you slowly uncurl each vertebrae at a time. Okay, let's do that again. Chin forward, paint a line, head drops, and then you slowly uncurl. Okay, so that's a little warm up for the back. Now let's do a stretch. I want you to imagine there's something in your right hand corner that you really, really like, and you're reaching up for it. Oh, but you can't get it, and your hand comes down. Okay, there it is over there. You reach up, other hand joins it. No good, you didn't catch it. It's this side, reach down, couldn't catch it, reach down, ah, this time you've got, whatever it is, you've managed to get it, okay? So you're gonna have a look, you curl up small, and then you release it, and whatever it is, a butterfly or whatever you want it to be, it flies away, okay? And just by doing that simple exercise, you get a really good stretch, okay? So we're gonna do it twice. Let's just recap then. So it's two ripples. Reach for something, can't get it. Reach for something, can't get it. Reach, reach, get it, and then release it. And then the second time round, we'll do it the left first. Okay, right, let's give it a go. Step nice and tall. year sometime and it involves you doing some acting. I want you to imagine <clears throat> you're at a poker table, okay? You've been pay playing poker and the person opposite you, you suspect that they've been cheating and you're really angry. So in your anger, you get your fist and you slam your hand as hard as you can on the table, okay? Then you come up and you put your hand out like this, as if to say, what do you think you're doing? Okay, let's try that. And slam, what do you think you're doing? Okay, you do that, uh, so the whole, that bit, three times. So it goes one, two, three, okay? Then in your anger, with this hand, you sweep the cards off the table, you sweep them back, you sweep them again, you come up, and it's sort of like um, a sort of paso doble, sort of sharp hands, sharp posture, okay? 
Then we repeat with the other side. You go down and up and down and up and down. Whoops, that right and up, that's right. Then you go sweep across, sweep back, sweep across. And then this sort of angry paso doble thing, okay? Then you're going to look at this person you think is cheating and you point at them and want to stare at me, okay? And as you do that, you're going to stretch one leg to the side, okay? Now, if you don't feel very secure, then use your other hand to hold the chair, okay? So you point and you come back, and you point and you come back, okay? Shall we give it a go? All right, I want you to do your best angry face, okay? So this is exercising our faces too. Right then, let's give this one a go. Okay, get into the character. in the dance sense class and Trevor brought a gun into class, a toy gun, I hasten to add. So when he did that, he had his gun. Okay, right, the next exercise, we're going to get our brains going, we're going to get our heart going and our legs going, okay? And for this one, I just want you to copy me. We're going to start with our feet, working our ankles and just copy me as we go along. I might move back just a little bit more so that I definitely know you can see my feet. Okay, so as always, pull up. Don't lean against the chair, otherwise it won't strengthen your tummy muscles. Okay, so pull up, shoulders down, and just follow me. Okay. Ready? Right leg.
really question your brain trying to do both. Yeah, that's right, let's do a little Charleston. your heart a little bit and you've warmed up your legs a little bit. Okay, now the hat dance I promised you earlier. Now you can do this sat down if you're going to struggle standing up, it can be adapted or you can actually use the chair to support you. In fact the very first step we're going to do, I'll move this back, you're going to put your foot up like this and then you're going to swap now, you might want to practice with the chair before you move the chair out of the way. So you're going up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And if you feel confident, you can let go. But if you don't, then keep going like this. All right? Now, you can either do that or you can just keep your foot on the floor, whichever you prefer. So it's more of a knee movement this time. So that's the first move. So I'm going to move the chair out of the way. <clears throat> so you need your hat. Uh, you're going to face the side and uh, have your hat in your hand. And at the very beginning, you're going to look towards me. Okay. Now, I don't really mind which leg you're going to put up first, but you're going to go one, two, three, four. Five, and in fact, if we do our hands like that as well, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen is really sharp. A bit like when we were doing the poker game, it had to be really sharp. So very staccato and sharp, okay? Elbows out. Now, I'm going to go to my left, you go to your right, so I'm mirroring you. We're going to go step together, step together. Step together, step together, step together, step together, step together, step together, keeping your elbows out. Then we walk round, two, three, four, right, so like that. Then I want you to put your hat sort of like this, elbow out, and imagine you've got a hula hoop around you and you're going to do this hula hoop thing. Like that. Okay, give it a go. Hula hoop. And then you're going to go step, kick, step, kick, get back to here, and look. And oh, we'll have our hands out as well. Shall we try that with the music? Okay, let's give it a go. Uh, if you ever want to um, learn, put the words to it, you can look up the song. It's Razzle Dazzle. All right? So. Here we go. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Step together, step together, step together. Right, 
Have you got that? The important thing is it's got to be quite sharp. It's angular, so your hands out, your elbows are out. Um, and when you're doing the kick, if you can't balance on the kick, don't worry, just do step, point, step, point, okay? Big smiley face, all right? I mean, you can add various bits and pieces to it. So if you wanted to, this beginning bit, you could do it like this, okay? So let's see what you make of it, all right? Let's go from the very beginning. Right, there was a blip with the camera there. Right, now let's go from the very beginning. again until you've got it right and you don't need me to prompt you. Okay, hope you enjoyed our little chair, the hat dance. Right, we've come to almost the end of our session today, so we'll do a cool down. Remember, these sessions are recorded so you can play them over and over again, so you could have a workout every day if you wanted to. Let's get our chairs back. I want you to copy me while we cool down. Okay, are we ready? So this is just to get our breath back and just have a nice stretch at the end of the session.
time and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.